Welcome to Unit 1. This unit is classified into three reading sections. They are A. Peace and Harmony B. I Want Peace C. Grand Contest in the Forest Welcome to the reading section Peace and Harmony Overview Let us have a look at the overview. The overview slide consists of three sections, namely Introduction, Instruction and Evaluation. The introduction section is meant to motivate the student to learn the lesson. The instruction section divides the contents of the lesson into four subsections. They are Content, Communication, Constructive Components, and enrichment activities. The lesson is covered under content. All the activities pertaining to the four skills of language and their assessment are covered under the sections communication and the constructive components. The enrichment activities are meant to widen the scope of the student's thinking and learning, thereby making him or her a global citizen. The extent of understanding of the module can be assessed by the student under the evaluation section. Learning Objectives By the end of this section, you will be able to Explain the importance of peace and harmony in life. Identify the adjectives. Identify the adverbs of frequency. Write two degrees of comparison for a given adjective. Write the script to compare a program. Let us start the section with some questions which check your prior knowledge. Have you ever heard of peace and harmony? Do you know what they mean? Do you know their importance in our daily life? Observe the image carefully and answer the following questions. What do you see in the picture? Are they from the same place or from different places? Are they happy or unhappy? How can you say? Are they friends or enemies? Let us now know about peace and harmony. Peace and harmony are like the heart and the heartbeat. They always exist together. Peace is a stress-free state of security and calmness that comes when there is no fighting or war, everything coexisting in perfect harmony and freedom. Harmony is the state of being in agreement to establish peace. Let us now know the role of harmony in human relationships. As we are human beings, we need to live and communicate with one another every day. The quality of our life is much dependent on our relationships with other people. Without good relationships, it is very difficult to have peace. Let us now Know the basic things required to achieve peace and harmony. Peace and harmony can be established by following five basic things. They are Mutual respect for each other Non-interference in each other's internal efforts Equality and cooperation for mutual benefit Mutual belief and forgiveness Care and helping nature in order to live in harmony with others, we must be gentle, kind, understanding, and faithful. Since we cannot live a life of isolation, we should learn to coexist together. Once upon a time in a thick forest, there were many animals which lived together happily. They played together in open fields without any fear. 
They often arranged musical evenings and enjoyed their evenings. They even invited the moon and his friends, the stars, to the musical evenings. One day, a dirty, dangerous and very cunning jackal entered the forest. With a wicked thought, he talked to the animals when they were with their group. The jackal first went to the elephants. To make the elephants feel superior, it said, You are elephants, the biggest animals in the forest. Why do you play with the small animals like squirrels and rabbits? This made the elephants think, Why didn't I get this thought? One elephant among was intelligent and said, Don't fall for his words. He then went to the peacocks and said, You are the loveliest birds in the forest. Why do you praise the minas? The peacocks agreed with the words of the jackal and said, Yes, he is true. I realize it now. Yes, we are the most beautiful birds. Then he went to the deer and told some lies. The tiger is waiting for a chance to kill you all. Oh my God! The deer got frightened listening to the jackal's words and were wondering how to escape from the tiger. After this, the animals lost belief in other animals and started suspecting them. Don't talk to the rabbits. Look, miners are sitting there. The tiger is nearby. We better leave from here. They even started moving with their own groups and avoided spending time with the other groups. Hunt time. Then, it became easy for the jackal to hunt the smaller animals and birds. When the smaller ones cried for help, no one came to help them. Help! 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 One by one, the little ones disappeared. The animals got frightened and didn't stay out of their homes in the evenings. It's evening now. Let's get back to our home. Thereafter, the forest looked empty every evening. The moon became sad and cried, as there were no musical evenings. Then the moon decided to come to the animals and birds in the form of a sadhu. I must solve the problem. I shall go to them in the form of a sadhu. The moment Sadhu appeared in the forest, all the animals and birds went to him and narrated their tales of woe. Oh, Sadhu, please help us. Please help us. Please save our lives. We are very afraid. They cried, sobbed and blamed the other animals for the disturbance of peace in the forest. This is all their fault. Next day, Sadhu went to the animals, played with them, and talked to them to restore peace and harmony in the forest. I am very happy to spend time with you. The jackal became very angry as the sadhu was trying to reunite the animals. On seeing this, the jackal became very angry and thought to itself, this sadhu is spoiling my whole plan. I must kill him. We are very afraid of the jackal. We must request the sadhu to help us. One day, they all unanimously went to the sadhu for help. Oh sadhu, please kill the jackal and save our lives. Then, the sadhu said, that he will not kill the jackal, but will help them in another way. I will not kill it, but don't be afraid. I will help you all in another way. That night, the
the jackal went to the house of the chickens to hunt a few of them for his supper. Oh God, the jackal is here. I am very hungry. I shall eat a few hens. The sadhu appeared and said to the jackal, Jackal, have me for your supper instead of the hens. The jackal readily agreed. Okay, sadhu, I will eat you instead of the hands. He dragged the sadhu and ran into the jungle. He tore the sadhu into pieces and ate him. The animals came to know about what had happened to the sadhu and became sad, angry, disappointed and still more afraid. That cunning jackal killed our sadhu. Poor sadhu. He tried to help us. They feared that the jackal would return the next day and eat them too. The jackal will come for us tomorrow. Oh God, what do we do now? Suddenly, they heard a strange noise. Ah! Ah! What is that noise? I don't know. It's from that direction. Let's go and see what it is. All of them ran in that direction. When they reached there, they were surprised. What happened to the jackal? Ah! My stomach! Ah! My stomach! The stomach of the jackal started to grow bigger and bigger. It bloated till it bursted. Look! The jackal's stomach bursted! Then the animals heard a soft voice. May my animals, birds and insects live in peace and harmony. May there be no fences around you. May you sing and dance once again. Remember me and be not afraid. The peace and harmony among the animals was restored and all the animals in the forest lived happily ever after. Arrange the following sentences in a proper order based on the story Peace and Harmony. Drag the statement to its proper position. In this section, let us learn about objectives. Adjective is a word which describes a person's place or thing. In other words, an adjective says how a person, place or thing is. Adjectives are used before or after a noun. Read the following sentences from the story and observe the words in colors. Once upon a time, in a very thick forest, lived many animals, birds, snakes and insects. The peacocks were very proud of their dances, but admired the melodious songs of the cuckoos. That cunning jackal killed our sadhu. The animals heard a soft voice. In the first sentence, forest is a noun. The word thick is describing how the forest is. In the second sentence, song is a noun and the word melodious is describing how the song is. Similarly, the word cunning is describing how the jackal is and the word soft is describing the voice. Both the words jackal and voice are nouns. The words which describe nouns are called adjectives. Let us do another interesting activity. A few images are displayed on the screen. Drag and drop the proper adjective from the list into the space given and click Submit button.
Till now, we have studied a particular type of adjectives called adjectives of quality. There are a few special cases in the forms of adjectives which you will study in the next classes. An overview of the adjectives is presented here. Adjectives of quality describes the quality of the noun. A few examples are honest, bulky, kind, large, beautiful. Listen to the following sentences framed using these adjectives. Sheila is a beautiful woman. New Delhi is a large city with buildings. Adjectives of quantity describes the quantity of the noun. A few examples are all, half, many, few, most. Listen to the following sentences framed using these adjectives. They have finished most of the rice. Many people came to visit the fair. Adjectives of number describes the count. A few examples are All cardinals All ordinals Some Several Many Every Listen to the following sentences framed using these adjectives. There were many people present at the meeting. Taxes have to be paid by every employed citizen. Demonstrative adjectives Used to point out specific people or things. A few examples are This That These Those Listen to the following sentences framed using these adjectives. That bag belongs to Kumar. These flowers are lovely. Interrogative adjectives Use it for questioning or interrogating. A few examples are Bear Which What Whose Listen to the following sentences framed using these adjectives. Which is your favorite sport? Whose pen is this? In this section, we learn about the degrees of comparison of the adjectives. To express the intensity, they have degrees of comparison positive, comparative and superlative. The positive degree describes the quality of a person or a thing. The comparative degree is used for comparing two persons are two things with each other. The superlative degree is used to express the highest quality or degree. Let us see a few examples. Observe the three forms of a few adjectives given below. I am a small animal. I am smaller than the monkey. I am the smallest among the three of us. Here, the monkey says that it is a small animal without comparing with any other animal. So, the word small is an adjective of positive degree. Here, the rabbit says that it is smaller by comparing its size with that of the size of monkey. So, the word smaller is an adjective of comparative degree. The ant says that it is the smallest by comparing its size with that of more than one animal, that is monkey and rabbit. So, the word smallest is an adjective of superlative degree. Let us see one more example. I am a big animal. I am bigger than the deer. I am the biggest among the three of us. Here, the deer says that it is a big animal without comparing with any other animal. 
So the word big is an adjective of positive degree. Here, the tiger says that it is bigger by comparing its size with that of the size of deer. So the word bigger is an adjective of comparative degree. The elephant says that it is the biggest by comparing its size with that of more than one animal, that is deer and tiger. So the word biggest is an adjective of superlative degree. These three animals are talking about how strong they are. Write dialogues for all the three animals using the adjective strong. Let us now do a simple activity to check your previous knowledge. A few words are given in the left block and their opposites are given in the right block. Drag and drop them correctly and click the submit button. Read the following sentences and observe the highlighted words. Select the corresponding opposite words and click Submit button. In this section, we learn about synonyms. Synonyms are the different words which have the same meaning. Consider the following words. Happy, glad, joyful, cheerful, elated. These words have different spelling and pronunciation, but their meaning is the same. Such words of same meaning are called synonyms. Now, Take up the following activity yourself. Observe the following pairs of words which have the same meaning. Try a few such words. In this section, we will learn how to design an invitation card. Here is an invitation by the students of 6th class inviting their teachers to the fun day program. Read it carefully. Suppose you are planning to conduct a cultural program in school on Teacher's Day. Design an invitation card on your own. You may use the above card for reference. In this section, we will learn how to prepare a script for comparing a program. Listen how Lokesh, the organizer, compared the whole program in the Code and Pixels High School. Based on this, prepare your own script for the programs on Teacher's Day and perform it before your group. Dear Mr. Gopi Krishna, beloved teachers and my dear friends, I welcome you all to the Green Day program organized in the Code and Pixels High School. We have Mr. Gopi Krishna on the stage as our guest of honor. On behalf of all the students, I thank him for sparing his precious time for us. On this occasion, I request Mr. Gopi Krishna to share a few words with us. Thank you, sir, for your valuable words on the importance of greenery in our life. Now, let us begin our cultural program with a dance performance, Trees Are Our Friends Forever, by Shravan and Naveen. I am sure that all of you have liked the performance. The next item on the list is a song called Earth Song by Praveen and Shiva. Hope you all loved this song. The song has very good lyrics, right? Now we are going to see a skit called Importance of Trees. This is about the most serious problem we are facing today, deforestation by Likita and Soumya. 
I am sure you enjoyed the skit. I promise to support deforestation from this second. Now I invite our friend Monica to extend a vote of thanks. Finally, I like all of you to join a tasty lunch. In this section, we will learn how to express the same comparative sentence using comparative form and positive form. Observe the following sentences. The coconut tree is taller than the banana tree. The banana tree is not as tall as the coconut tree. Both the sentences are comparing the coconut tree and the banana tree with respect to their sizes. The first sentence has the comparative form that is taller and the second sentence has the positive form that is tall. Any two things can be compared using either the comparative form or the positive form. Take up the following activity to check your understanding. Observe the height and weight of the animals given below. Compare one animal with other in comparative and positive forms. Two examples are given for you. The rabbit is heavier than the squirrel. Comparative form. The squirrel is not as heavy as the rabbit. Positive form. The giraffe is taller than the elephant. Comparative form. The elephant is not as tall as the giraffe. Positive form. Let us now learn about adverbs. Read the following sentence from the story and observe the words highlighted. The words highlighted are called adverbs. An adverb is a word that changes or adds to the meaning of a verb, adjective or another adverb. In the first sentence, the word unanimously describes the way they went to the sadhu. It is describing the verb went. In the second sentence, the word readily describes the way in which the jackal agreed, that is, the verb agreed. Similarly, the word suddenly describes the verb heard. But the word often in the fourth sentence is a bit different. It expresses the frequency of the occurrence of the musical evenings. So, it is called adverb of frequency. In this section, we will learn about the adverbs of frequency. Adverbs of frequency or adverbs of time that answer the question, how frequently or how often, they tell us how often something happens. The adverbs are used based on the frequency of occurrence. A few adverbs of frequency are given below. Never, almost never, rarely, not very often, seldom, Sometimes, occasionally, usually, often, frequently, almost always, always. Observe the following examples, paying special attention to the words in green color. I often go to the cinema. I usually drink coffee. They frequently go on tours. My son never misses the Power Rangers program. We occasionally go to restaurants. Karan drinks milk every day. Peter rarely watches TV. Let us now do a simple activity related to adverbs of frequency. Read the following sentences. Select the right answer from the options given and click the Submit button. First one is done for you. Let us now do an activity 
to improve our listening and speaking skills. Listen to the story, The Lion King and the Little Mouse attentively and answer the following questions. In a thick forest lived a lion named Simba. One fine day, he had a good meal to his stomach full and slept under a tree. A mouse named Chotu going that way saw the lion. At first, he got frightened. Later, he became a bit bolder and went near it. Then he climbed up the lion's head and started dancing on its head. All of a sudden, the lion woke up and caught the mouse with its strong paws. The mouse got shocked and terrified. The lion roared and said, How dare you dance on my head, little mouse? The mouse started pleading the lion, O oh, king, I am very sorry. Please don't hurt me. I will not repeat this. Have mercy on me. But the lion was still very angry and asked the mouse, Why should I forgive you? Then the mouse replied, My king, I might be helpful to you someday. The lion laughed and said, You are so little and I am so huge. Why will I need your help? The mouse stayed calm. Then the lion thought that he could not eat the mouse as it was very small. Moreover, the lion just had his meal. So the lion left that mouse go and warned him not to repeat the same. The mouse thanked the lion and left happily. One day, the lion got caught in a hunting net and was unable to get out from that. Fortunately, Chotu was going in that way to meet his friends. He saw the lion and ran to him. Chotu bit the net with his sharp teeth and freed the lion from the net. The lion thanked Chotu for saving his life. Then Chotu replied, My king, you showed mercy on me one day. I just repaid the favor. From then, Simba and Chotu became good friends and lived together happily. Let us now listen to a few famous quotes. Observe good faith and justice toward all nations. Cultivate peace and harmony with all. By George Washington Everybody today seems to be in such a terrible rush anxious for greater developments and greater riches and so on, so that children have very little time for their parents. Parents have very little time for each other, and in the home begins the disruption of peace of the world, by Mother Teresa. Every kind of peaceful cooperation among men is primarily based on mutual trust and only secondarily on institutions such as Courts of Justice and Police by Albert Einstein. Follow-up work. Take up the following activities. Suppose you are planning to conduct a cultural program in school on Teacher's Day. Design an invitation card on your own. You may use the above card for reference. Imagine you are the organizer of the programs in your school. You were told to compare the programs for Children's Day in your school. Write a script for comparing the whole program. Take an English newspaper. Read the news and underline the adjectives you find in the news. Gather a few of your friends and perform the role play of the story Peace and Harmony. Situational Conversation the section Situational Conversation is meant to improve the communication skills of the students. In this section, we will observe how to give self-introduction. Self-introduction In some situations, we have to introduce ourselves to others. It is called self-introduction. For example, you are a 6th class student and joined a new school. To introduce yourself to the class, 
cover the following basic information. Name, Age, Class, Place, About Parents, About Siblings, Your Brothers or Sisters, Hobbies, Favorite Game or Sport, Hobbies like Reading Books, Listening to Music, Watching TV, Gardening, etc. Goal A boy is now going to introduce himself to his new classmates. Observe and practice it by replacing the details with yours. Good morning all. My name is Rahul and I am new to the class. Let me introduce myself. I am 11 years old. I am a native of Karim Nagar. My father is Mr. Pratap and he is an engineer. My mother is Mrs. Shilpa and she is a homemaker. I have two brothers, one is elder and other is younger to me. I love playing cricket. My favorite cricketer is Virendra Sevag. I even represented my previous school in inter-school cricket competition last year. I also like to watch cartoon shows on television. I also love to listen to pop music. I want to become a teacher in future. You have successfully completed this section, Peace and Harmony.